woman who lost her husband during the tragedy in Taunton is now fighting a new battle. George Heath was killed while protecting a pregnant waitress during the stabbing rampage at Bertucci's. His wife tonight is working to regain access to his Facebook page. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russom is live in the control room now with her story. More than 1,400 people have already signed this petition. A woman in Taunton who lost her husband in last month's attacks just lost his Facebook page, and she wants it back. Reading her husband's old posts on Facebook has been therapeutic for Rosemary Heath. Absolutely. To everyone, not just me, but to his children, to his friends, to my friends, to, all, to everybody that ever met him. It's been nearly a month since her husband, George, was brutally stabbed and killed during the attacks in Taunton. Every day since his death, she would log on to his Facebook page and reshare memories. That changed Sunday night. It was locked because it was memorialized. And I'm like, what's that? She says someone memorialized her husband's page without her permission, and now she's locked out. He says her husband never chose what's called a legacy contact, someone to add friends or pin posts once a page is memorialized. She wants to change the rule on who can approve memorializing a page. She has an online petition to support her idea. If your legacy is not filled out, your relationship status, and then you have to prove that you're next of kin if you want to do something with the account. Facebook tells us the page is memorialized to keep the account secure, preventing someone from managing the page as if it's their own. They say a legacy contact cannot be added after someone has died and a page cannot be unmemorialized. I never expected my husband to die. I thought I'd have him forever and now I don't. I don't even have his memories, his Facebook page, the thing he was on every day and I want it. Heath says she is determined to have these rules change, even saying she will go the legal route if she has to. I'm Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.